Hi, my name is Vivek Adhikari. I am a English instructor. In today's class, we are going to solve the grammar and writing portion of Unit 4, that is, a brave woman. So, let's begin. Right, then we are now going to start the grammar and the writing portion of Unit 4. So, two things to be taken care of. First, grammar and writing. So, we'll be doing two things today, right? And under grammar section, we shall be looking at spellings and punctuations. And in the writing section, we'll learn how to write about, it's more like writing about people. Okay, so let's begin. The first question we have is called look and match. Let's look at the first picture. In the first picture, the swan is falling down from the cliff from this rock second picture this man is trying to help the swan right and in the last picture the man is aiming at the swan so okay let's try to match so this let's look at the first sentence it says he helped the swan and that picture is similar to the second picture i mean in the second picture the man is actually helping the swan so we just we have to match First sentence with the second picture. Let's look at the second sentence. He shot the swan. That matches with the third picture. Right? And the last one, the swan fell down. And the act of falling down matches with this one. So that's how we match the sentences with their pictures. Now let's move on to the grammar portion. Okay, let's look at the first picture. So there's a boy who's playing basketball. And now you've got to correct the spelling. Look at the spelling. It's all jumbled and it's wrong. Let's try to correct it. So how do we spell basketball? It come, begins with B. Then we have A, S, K, E, T for basket. Now that's the spelling of a basket and basket is something uh, where you put something i mean it's like an empty container right so after basket we're going to write ball so yeah that's the spelling basketball look at the second picture the girl is playing badminton and how do you spell badminton you simply write bad bad and we go with min followed by done so that's the spelling right let's look at the third one they're playing volleyball so v volley that's the spelling of volley now we need to write ball now it's volleyball third picture the boys are playing football okay what's the spelling of football begins with f we need to o followed by t for foot now, after foot comes the word ball, so it's football. By the way, these are all different kinds of outdoor activities or sports. So, these are sporting activities. The boys playing a basketball, the girls playing badminton, boys and girls are playing volleyball, and the boys are again playing football. Right? So, yeah, we corrected the wrong spellings. Let's learn how to punctuate. Let's first look at an example. Pasang Lamu Sherpa was born in 2017 Bias in Solukumbu district. Her father's name is Furba Kitar Sherpa. Her mother's name is Angdaki Sherpa. So you see the first letters. So these are all first letters. The first letters of the names of the persons and places are in capital. So, Solukhumbu is a, a place's name and the first letter of that word is in capital. The first letter of a sentence is also capital. For example, uh, her. So, H is capitalized here. Her mother. Again, H is capitalized here. So, we have capital letters see so these are all first words of names so we are talking about 
first words of the names of the persons or the first letters of names of the places and first letter of a sentence that's kept in capital also you should know when to use full stop apostrophe and capital letters okay when do we generally use full stops or the americans call it period so when do we normally use period we normally use period at the end of the sentence for example we can write i love cats and when the sentence is complete we have to put the full stop so that denotes that this sentence is now complete and so it shows that it is complete so full stops of period so that the sentence is in fact complete let me give you another example i can say he likes to play and if the thought is complete i can just put a full stop or a period here and that shows that the sentence or the thought is complete so that's how full stops are used now apostrophe when is an apostrophe used and apo apostrophe is used when we're talking about you know in a sense we are talking about some ones we are trying to show relation for example if i write her father's name is ram then the apostrophe here tries to show the relationship between her and father father's name so it's her father's name is ram or we can write her cat's name is keo so that can be another example now let's talk about capitalization when do we generally capitalize the words we do that if it's a uh, if it's first names of persons or first names of places or let's say if it's first letter of a sentence for example if i write i was born in butwal now butwal is the name of the place so i have to capitalize the b the beginning letter of the word or if i write instead of i if i write ramesh was born in butwal then i have to capitalize the letter r because it is the first letter of first instead of names it's more like first letter you know first letter of persons and places so if i write ramesh i have to capitalize r because it is the first letter of the name of the person also the beginning letter of a sentence is capitalized so this is the first letter of a sentence so it's capitalized now let's go back and try punctuating a paragraph that's given in the book all right we're now here so let's look at this one my the m should be capitalized since it is the beginning letter of a sentence my name is asta josi asta josi so a should be capitalized and j should be capitalized there should be a full stop here i should be capitalized because it's the beginning letter of a new sentence i was born in makwanpur again name of the place so capital m full stop here new sentence my father's we need an apostrophe here name is surendra joshi and you need a full stop my should be m should be capitalized my mother's name is namrata joshi so that's how you will correct the paragraph right my name is asta joshi i was born in makwanpur my father's name is surendra joshi my mother's name is namrata joshi all right so go go ahead and capitalize the paragraph and after that we're going to the writing section okay let's look at the writing section it says read and write rabindra 1964 sunday circuit so this is rabindra a handsome man 
So we can write Ravindra was born in 1964. He was born on Sunday and he was born in Surkhet. So little grammar help is required, I guess. If it is the year, we will use in, in some year. If it is the day, we are going to use on. If it's place, place's name, we'll use in. Okay, so let's try. Rosie. Rosie was born in 1974. Rosie was born on Monday. Rosie was born in Pokhara. Let's try with these two more questions. Kamal. Kamal was born in 1973. Kamal was born on Friday. Kamal was born in Kathmandu. Now let's look at Sanju, Sanju's profile. Sanju was born in 1999. Sanju was born on Saturday. Sanju was born in Elam. Once again, let's revise. If it's ear, we're going to use in ear. If it's day, we're going to use on day. If it's place's name, we're going to use in some place. For example, I can give you my own example. In 2001, on Monday, in Parton. So I can say I was born in 2001 on Monday in Paran. And now it's time for me to give you some homework. Okay, let's go to the homework section. It's called Fun with Writing. Let's look at the paragraph. Read about Pasang Lamu Sherpa once again. Now write a similar paragraph about your sister. So you can write, my sister's name is, write your sister's name there. She is a... So what is he? Maybe a student. She is probably five years old, seven years old. She lives at some place at at Sifal, at Nayabanisur. When we use at, we are talking about a small place. But if we use in, we are talking about a bigger place. So for example, I live in Kathmandu, but I live at Sifal. See, so your homework is extend or elaborate this paragraph, all right? That's your homework. You've got to elaborate this paragraph. With this, we've come to end of today's class. If you have any questions or suggestions regarding these video series, feel free to write us at learning at dearwalk.edu.np. Thanks.